what's up everyone this is apple vibes wishing you a very happy new year and i am back with another video after almost three weeks but i promise there is going to be a lot of new content for you guys from apple vibes in 2021 so in this video i'm going to show you guys more than 15 finder features and shortcuts that you'll definitely use and if you are into using your mac or iphone like a pro join me in my journey and subscribe to my channel and without further ado let's dive in shall we starting off by enabling some cool features which are sadly not enabled by default in a mac and if you already know some basic features feel free to move forward in the video from the timestamps given in the description below so you can either do it from the view options quickly from over here or there are even keyboard shortcuts if you can memorize and use it from there that will be really helpful but this is just for once if you apply this once if you enable this once you won't have to do this again and again so you can do this from the view option very easily so in the view option the first thing will enable is the first option the first setting will enable is known as the status bar so status bar lets you know how much storage space is left on your mac very conveniently so for example we are there in task macintosh right now it is showing that four items are available over here and 24 gb space is available on my macbook so if i go to some other folder like downloads it is showing that 14 items are present in my downloads folder the next thing we are going to enable is known as the path bar and this is very useful so make sure you enable this feature anyhow so we'll click on this now we have a path bar what this is exactly for example if i go in folders if i go in some other folders if i go deep inside some folders and then again inside some folders you can see it is showing me all these folders which i've come into so for example if i want to go to downloads directly i don't have to go back and back again and again just double click on downloads and it will take you directly over there and this is the best feature to enable on your macbook and i don't know why you don't enable this by default when you buy a new mac you knew already right these are some views in the finder you get the best one is gallery because you get a preview of the items for example if i choose this it will show me that it is 6.3 jb created this date and modified and all that stuff it will show me directly over here but if you are in some other view it won't show you that preview but it's very easy to get that preview in any view you, all you have to do is go to this view option and you have the show preview shift command and p are the keyboard shortcut for enabling preview on the finder we'll do that and very conveniently you will get the preview everywhere on your mac so may it be list or may it be columns or in gallery you already had it so now you can have that preview option on your macbook very conveniently moving on to the toolbar toolbar not in finder but in every app which provides a toolbar like pages or keynote should be customized according to your preferences because that will up your game a lot what i mean by that is you know the toolbar i'm not going to go deep inside the toolbar you have these options in toolbar and this is some basic stuff about finder i i'm sure you all know about the toolbar what i'm going to show over here is you can put your customized folders or stuff directly in the toolbar and access it directly from there that is very simple all you have to do is just hold the command key for example i use this fantasy island a lot i use this folder a lot and i want this in the toolbar all i have to do is just hold the command key drag and drop it in the toolbar and now i can access this folder directly from the toolbar over here you can do this from here also the movies music desktop download any folder you want just drag and drop it over here in the toolbar and very conveniently you have that folder located in the toolbar and if you want to customize your toolbar without going to that menu or without double clicking it just hold the command key and drag and drop wherever you want to customize the toolbar and very easily just holding the command key you can customize your toolbar on your finder i don't know why but some folks fear changing preferences or even accessing it well you can do a lot of good stuff in finder preferences all you have to do is hit command and comma in any app if you hit command and comma it will take you to the preferences to the settings of that particular app so after going to preferences we'll leave all that we'll just go to the advanced setting right now and we'll choose this keep folders on top so if this is not enabled what will happen is 
you can see that now if i enable this the folder goes on top if i disable this the folder comes down it's not a big problem on desktop but while you're using finder if the folders are not on top while you are sorting it will become a big mess because folders will be in between and files and folders it it will become a big mess so i what i suggest is you come to preferences come in advance and just tick two of these boxes and you are good to go so like preferences we also have view options in finder it's like preferences only what i mean by view options is you know view options are we have four view options in finder and you can access it very easily using the keyboard shortcuts command one two three four command one for icon view command two for list command three for column command four for gallery and back again command one to the icon view but what if i want downloads to be opened in icon view and i want something else for example movies i want i want to open this movie folder in a list List view but if I change it from here if I change my downloads to list view automatically my desktop or movies everything will change to that view and uh, the moment I open finder it will open in that last view mode I had changed before closing finder well you can change that very easily using command J if I want to open my downloads in icon view first I'll have to go to the icon view command one for icon view then we'll hit command J for view options you have this view options over here you can group it by and sort it by you can change the icon size if you want and you can change the grid, grid spacing and all that stuff from here you can change the text to bottom or right you can do many things over here even you can set a color or a background picture if you want but the main thing what i want to show you is if you tick this box always open in icon view now if you close this and if my movies is if i change this to what do you call it, if i change this to list view for example and then i close finder when i open it you can see that music movies everything is listed in the list view because we closed our finder last when we were in the list view but if i go to downloads here i have the icon view because we set it to open as always as icon view so all you have to do is set the folders differently because for downloads we have set icon view for movies if we want something else we'll take column view for example command 3 for column view command j for view options and just take this always open in column view note you'll have to be in that view mode first then you have to access the view option in order for this to work after doing this when you close the finder command w to close finder when you open it again now you can see the download folder is in icons view and the next folder we set as column view is movies and you can see the moment we open this this is in icon view and this is in column view moving on to the keyboard shortcuts but before that a like for this video would be tremendous and make sure you're all ears because this is gonna be a rapid fire round for keyboard shortcuts in finder we'll start with navigation first i'll show you two kind of navigations in icon view and list view as i showed you before while you are in icon view so in icon view all you have to do is select the folder after selecting the folder command down to go one level down and to go back command and up arrow key it's not like enter we do on windows laptop command up and command down this was for icon view in list view command 2 for list view so while you are in list all you have to do is hit command right arrow key and it will open that folder for you left arrow key it will close that again but what if you have too many folders like if i do command and right arrow key i have three folders over here and i want all the subfolders to open together at once so all you have to do is instead of hitting command and right arrow key just hit option and right arrow key and it will open all the folders subfolders located in that folder for you very conveniently on your macbook okay the next one is known as uh, quick look and this is a very important feature in macbook which you won't get in windows laptop so if i want to preview this folder preview this file i don't have to open this to preview this just hit the space bar on your macbook and it will preview that file very conveniently for you on the macbook and if you want to open this file directly from here just hit command and o and it will open that file very conveniently for you on your macbook the next thing is folders this is a very basic thing but some people actually don't know about this so if you want to create a new folder all you have to do is hit command shift and n and it will create a new folder for you 
and if you want if you want this items to go in a new folder if i want to copy all of these items in a new folder i don't have to create a new folder and then drag and drop these items in that folder it's very easy on macbook all you have to do is a control command in n and it will take that items and create a new folder with that selection selected items and put that in the folder for you now if you want to go to a specific folder directly from the desktop or your finder all you have to do is hit command shift and then different keys for different folders for example command shift a for applications or command shift o for desktop or for documents command shift r for airdrop and something like that you can check all the shortcuts from here in the go options and very conveniently from the desktop you can open the folder you want to browse in finder on your mac this one is a very good one and i don't think many of you know how to do this and this is something unique if i want to add this file to the doc i can either drag and drop it but i can't put it over here i can put it over here if i want to but what if i don't want to drag and drop it and i want to put this file in the doc all i have to do is hit command control shift and t with that file selected and very conveniently it has put that file in my doc for me so if you want to open a new tab in finder it's command t and if you want to open a new window it's command n it's very simple but i think more, most of them don't know the difference between tab and a new window and the last one is navigating between tabs if you have many tabs open like you do normally it's control plus tab and you can easily scroll between tabs open and finder like you do in safari on your macbook so this is all for this video guys i have some more finder features remaining which i couldn't fit in this video so subscribe for more cool features also let me know in the comments what are the finder shortcuts you use the most thanks for watching this video my name is mufaddal this is apple wipes take care and I will see you in the next video.